what how, how did you get the strength to speak up when you did okay um i think the first thing to um notice the kind of association you make the kind of people you move with the kind of people you work with because whether we believe it or not these kind of people are actually what to um, compose of our self-esteem of course you have to um build your self-esteem from me what but but then when you keep on building your self-esteem and the people you move with are not anymore they are not they're not helping you then you would want to see yourself sinking so i think the first thing you should um one should um be conscious of is the kind of association one moves with what kind of people are you working with are they the people that would help you grow are they I think people that will just um, believe to you and will reduce your self-esteem. So basically, that's um, the first step that would make you um, strengthen, you know, getting, getting to meet with people that, okay, I can actually share um, anything with them. They, they are lovely people. They, they have to, never to share anything with them. It will make you feel cor um, courageous that, okay, I can actually do this. You know, when when you feel down, when people are like, hey, what's wrong with you? Like, ah, um, this is what happens. Like, what's, what's going on? Open up someone um, in a listening year to the person. To make you feel good. Like, okay, yes, this stress is coming. I can actually do this. So, how to get how I got the strength was because I felt I felt comfort in that. I felt loved. I felt like okay, I can actually do this. This is this person, you know, when, when someone is pestering, I was wrong with someone, you don't want to talk. And the person actually noticed that this is what is happening to the person. And she does not push you away and say, okay, you don't talk, that's all. You know, she um she makes you feel that okay, you can you can confide in me, you can you can tell me things, and this is what is going to happen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge you, I'm not going to, you know, the um most most reason or the the very first reason why people are not um bold enough to talk is because they feel they might actually be judged that mm -hmm. uh, how would you allow this to happen? They feel they might be judged and this is what is going to happen. So when you um feel comfortable with someone and person say, okay, I I, I won't judge you and you are going to derive um comfort in me and most times even if the solution is not coming from that person the fact that the person gave you a listening ear the fact that the person told you assured you that you can confide in me even if you're not getting that your actual solution you feel okay since this person can confide in me then i have no um i have no excuse of not telling any other person that i feel i can also confide in the very first thing is being able to confide in someone and why are you confiding in someone building courage from such person? So I just feel that's that's the first step to do. That's yeah, that's that's excellent because um it's so true in in I think all aspects of life that the people you associate with are the most influential over over your decisions. Shivani, um, from your perspective, what are what are the steps? How do you how do you get your power back? I think the first thing to do is to believe in yourself. So any relationship starts with yourself. You need to have a positive relationship, a self love relationship, and realize that you are not wrong. You always have a choice, regardless of what the society says or not. You always have a choice to move away from something which humiliates you, which traumatizes you every single day. Because what would happen is people surrounding us would come say certain statements, good, bad, ugly for a couple of days, they would move away. But we are the person we need to live with every possible day. And if we are into any kind of relationship, which is abusive, we are the ones who are going to suffer every possible day. So move out of it as soon as possible. I would say just run away from that relationship because your relationship with yourself, your self-esteem is very, very important. God has given us this life, which is a present and we all need to enjoy it. We deserve that right. 
So I, I think you touched on a very a couple of very strong points there. Um, so faith in a higher um, power is um, uh, very useful in giving people the strength. And if you listen, you know inside, I think even people that have been groomed, hopefully not always, but even people that have been groomed still feel a discomfort when certain things are happening and you know run is what you're basically saying run as fast as you can um so so from fifo's point of view it's about getting the right people around you from your point of view it's about knowing and loving yourself as a divine creation of our creator and that 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 beauty is not to be abused by anyone, man, woman, or otherwise. 